Good evening. Um, let's continue God of War. Wait, hold on. Why is the screen not full again? We change that every time. Let's continue where I was yesterday. I'm getting my ass kicked by the fucking annoying enemies. I wonder if I need to refight enemies here though. again. the other strong.
Fuck you. I try to do the Medusa on the on the big guy, but I couldn't. Kept getting it. Oh great! Now the now the checkpoint is over here. Oh no! That's pretty shit. I was holding the block button, but okay. Oh, it's so bullshit, I now have to go all the way back to hold.
Oh, come on, I didn't even see you were off screen, man. They're attacking me from off screen, that's not fair. Fucking hate these enemies, they're bullshit, and the fucking lack of a checkpoint is bullshit. Another one? Come on, man! Because I missed one block, I lose more than half my health. How did that hit, man? I fucking dodged! Fuck this section, man. This is bullshit. I do not fucking care. This is stupidly dumb that they didn't put a checkpoint there. It's a grindy bullshit area.
And I don't mind it. I, I wouldn't mind the fight if it wasn't for the fact that they didn't fucking put a checkpoint there. It's literally the worst thing about it. Because they're just shitty to fucking... They're just grindy to take down. All I can do is spam block and try to hit them with the same combo to have a... to stagger them. That's all. There's nothing else to it. Fuck off, man! Why is the fucking animation cancelling so inconsistent? Sometimes I can animation cancel and then I can't. Fuck, man, that's terrible. That's weird, because I am and I am blocking, but it doesn't block half the time. Makes no sense. Automatically hit me twice though. That double attack is so bullshit. Like, why even make it a double attack if the second one is always gonna hit you because you can't block after the first one? Why even bother making it a dual hit attack then? So 
so dumb. So I wish the game fucking told me when the fuck it gives me a checkpoint. Look! He just spawns in instantly in that attack. I pressed L1, man. the vines. So mindless because I can only stunlock them pretty much.
What? Yeah, sure. He kills me right as I get out of that. Like, this is such a bullshit fight. There's nothing I can fucking do here. It's the same bullshit over and over and over and over and over. Fuck this, man. This fight alone is making me want to stop fucking playing the game. I don't even want to do it on the hard mode if the game is treating me like this. Why would I even bother, you know? Ugh. Seriously, this is dumb design. Giving me no fucking checkpoint there. There's no strategy. Because it just doesn't work well. These two enemies do not combine well. You need to fucking rely on blocking with those fuckers. Meanwhile, you get an enemy that you cannot block. So what you fucking do? Good luck. And I have to fucking constantly do this same shit that is teaching me nothing. All it does is teach me to hold L1. Pretty sure I staggered him, not sure how he was able to do his attack. sound doesn't always play or sometimes multiple sounds play at the same time and i don't know if there's more of them or not because they play at the same time
There's not anything I can fucking do about that. Fucking bullshit fight. It's fucking cheap. This enemy sucks. If it's just a few, that's fine. But they just throw too many of them here. And in combination with the big dude in the next area, he's fucking dumb. Way too much. Camera should be more zoomed out. There's two zoomed in in this game. Shit like that. Already 34 minutes since so I've been this fucking car.
Fuck you. What the fuck? He didn't even... Stop spamming the same attack, motherfucker! Why did I even need to...
forgot if I go here or there. I couldn't fucking grab him. Cyclone of Chaos. Uh, Spirit of Hercules. Well,
bloodthirsty revenge things. Or R1 even. Fuck you, then dumb jump for first. How the fuck did I not... Was I not hitting them? Wow, that's bullshit. Cancel that time there. How many of them are there?
Bro, how many are there? So, I'm doing pretty okay. I'm getting my ass kicked as usual. This game is so fucking hard. Oh, that sucks that you're feeling annoyed by Valheim. Trophies. Ah, uh, small chance to offer. That's always annoying when you have to rely on that. Yeah, I can understand that's very annoying. When RNG fucks you like that. That's the stuff in games that always frustrates me as well. That's what I had in Warframe sometimes, even though I love Warframe. Sometimes I just get screwed like that as well. <laughs> Where's this lead me? Yeah, let me guess, and then you get those multiple times. Yep, I know that issue. It's the same thing I had on Warframe when I tried to farm something. I kept getting rare rewards, but not the less rare rewards. That fucking pissed me off as well, I totally understand. Zeus, Kratos, 
You grow stronger as your journey continues. Oh, hey. But if you are to succeed in your quest, the same voice you actor will need my aid. from Diablo and Metal Gear Solid. I you too. the power of the greatest of all the gods, the father of Olympus. I offer you the power of Zeus. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. You have done well, Kratos. Go with the gods. Go forth in the name of Olympus. Try to kill me yet. Unlock some cool new moves. One of my favorite attacks. Look at this one. I love that one. Such a nice AoE. Also that unlock the heavy combo by the way this one. Really nice. And some parry attacks now, because normally I could parry, but now I can also use an attack followed by the parry. Or the parry. Uh, parry followed by an attack I mean. I usually just rely on blocking, but sometimes I do manage to parry. I also uh, visited a friend today, and he let me try out his VR headset. I played Beat Saber on VR for the first time. It was really fucking fun. Nope, I did not have motion sickness thanks to Now I want a VR headset as well, but they're just so fucking expensive. But if I would play Beat Save, I would burn a lot of calories.
Yeah. Beat Saber was really fun. But, uh, uh, VR headsets are fucking expensive. Yeah. The one he has is the Valve Index. That one is like 1080. With all, all the things. Looks so much money. Like, you know, I'm willing to spend a few hundred euros. But a thousand eighty that's ridiculous, you know, it's like what the fuck? Like you can buy like two PlayStation 5s with it or something. Like it's so dumb. Especially considering the amount of VR games you can play is very small, there's not that many. Especially for my PC, probably wouldn't be able to handle a lot of VR games. Beat Saber would be able. Beat Saber isn't that heavy. But like, you know, then I'd be buying a thousand euro device just to play like one game. It's like, it's not worth it, right? Yeah, I'm just generally waiting for VR to get cheaper, but I don't know if that's ever gonna happen. Then I'm also gonna try racing with PlayStation VR. Hopefully next week. Like, you know, I'm willing to spend a couple hundred euros, like even like 300, you know, I'm willing to spend on it. Maybe even 400, but like a thousand is ridiculous. Oh wait, maybe I can grab that. First one to go to the other side there. Yeah, exactly. And run through. Oh, I didn't know those kind of treadmills existed. I 
Yeah, I mean, usually the treadmills you can just walk in one direction, I thought. Okay, that's really cool. Yeah, I get the concept. You! I must get across! Release the lever! Extend the bridge! No, no! I won't let them get me! They won't get across! These monsters! They'll, they'll tear me apart! Coward! Ah, <laughs> well, I'm screwed. Bredos was nice enough to ask for us, but he said no, so we definitely have to kill him. By the way, have you ever had boba tea before? These fucks, I hate these so much. again. Only seven fifty, that was pretty cheap.
Oh, they don't want to come this way. The only good strategy is spamming this attack because it keeps staggering them in the air. It's the only good strategy I found against them. for the first time today. You know what it looks like. It's like tea and there's like little bubble thingies filled with tea that pop in your mouth. It's pretty nice. Salon when I was at my friend's place. Uh, no. Kratos, we also Kratos, had some kibbling me. earlier. From, uh, from the fish store thingy. It was very good quality kibbling. So oh, we're back here now. The dead lady again. The woman is dead. Yeah, pretty much. some water.
Welcome back. I got a Snickers ice cream. Here you go. I'm gonna shove it through the camera. I also have Bounty ice cream. They were priced off. If you bought two, they would be six euros total. The so three euros per package. Damn, ice cream is good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Motherfucker with another motherfucker. I blocked. I blocked my work. Oh 
shit. Oh god, isn't this where we fight the fucking hounds? Centaurs. Oh fuck. Those are so tough. I could be wrong though, maybe it's later. Their wings off works good against them. But it doesn't really give me much experience. Oh god, not the bitch. Oh no, I pressed the block button, come on. anything against that.
What? What hit me? I have no fucking clue how I died there. By the way, Slayer, a friend of mine told me something today that I didn't know. Regarding my capture card. Because I have an Elgato to capture uh, gameplay footage off my consoles for. But I never used it to capture anything on my PC because I thought that would be useless because I, you know, I'm streaming on the same PC that I played on. But apparently, according to my friend, even if you still use a capture card for capturing PC footage that you stream on the same PC, you can still gain some performance with it, which I did not know. Yeah, I know about the dual PC for streaming. Def Good, my boy. Good. Athena has chosen wisely. I knew it was so. Who are you? So, you have the blades. The skin as pale as the moon. You are the one indeed. Perhaps Athens will survive at that. <laughs> yeah, there's but a pain for the electricity. I don't want you dying before I'm done with this grave. A grave? This is my grave. In the middle of a battle? Who will occupy it, old man? You will, my son. Oh, I've got a lot of digging to do indeed. All will be revealed in good time. I like this part. And when all appears to be lost, Kratos, I will be there to help. Don't disturb me now, son. I've got my work to do, and you have yours, and precious little time left to do either. <clears throat> but yeah, um... Like, basically what I'm doing now is obviously streaming off my PS3. So obviously my PC, you know, is handling it fine to stream this. Like if I open my task manager, it's probably not gonna be heavily loaded. Because obviously the game is running on my PS3 and not my PC, so my PS3 is doing the heavy lifting in terms of that. Um, so yeah, OBS is only grabbing like 30, 32 and a half percent of my CPU right now. Obviously, if I would play something like World of Tanks, it would go higher because it also has to run World of Tanks. But I believe also OBS will be a higher thing because um, it will also, like, as far as what I assume, like, I didn't know it, but again, because my friend told me. I only assume that OBS using game capture is probably going to take extra resources compared to OBS getting the feed through the Elgato. I don't know 100% if that's correct, but that's the only way I can assume how I would get be how I would be getting a performance boost. So tomorrow when I'm going to play World of Tanks, uh, I'm going to test that out. So I'm going to try and put my Elgato uh, in between my PC and screen. And uh, 
<laughs> See if I have better frame rate more consistently. Oh, I have no problems with my internet connection. Internet's not, never really been a problem for me, thankfully. Oh, damn, I'm low on health. test that out tomorrow hopefully it works because hopefully you know like world of tanks like it generally runs okay but sometimes i have frame rate issues i dip to like the 40s i would love to get rid of that doom eternal same shit generally runs okay just not really smooth enough where i can fully enjoy the game and i was also mentioning that ready or not i had some frame drops so if the elgato helps Hopefully I can play all those games at a much smoother frame rate on Steam. That would be amazing. That would really increase my uh, enjoyment. But yeah, tomorrow I'll find out about that. Oh, I remember this fight. Fucking gargoyle pieces of shit. Where are these harpies? These are harpies, I think. Okay. The thing here is that they keep coming. At least the game slowly keeps giving me more and more health. As I keep dying. Not much, but it is slowly getting me. I like this puzzle, because we gotta basically block it off from them spawning more. Because they keep coming out of the hole basically. Boom, that one's blocked. And the other one, ow, oh, piece of shit. I haven't fought another boss fight yet, by the way. We've only fought the Hydra so far. I don't remember that many boss fights in this game. I know the giant metal bull is one. Yeah, it was a pretty big game. Especially when playing it on this difficulty. Yeah, the giant metal bull I remember. Not sure what else. Probably when I get to them I'll be like, oh yeah. So I can kill these fucks. And they stop respawning. Hey 
now I have to go over here. Oh, hi, Light. Welcome, welcome. To hunt down... Actually, no, it's not yet hunt down the Zeus. That's in the sequel. Probably some super bonuses here, right? Didn't even need to drop down from there, they just over here. So I'll just repeat what I was uh Oh I hope you had a good nap. I'll just repeat what I just told Slayer dude. Um But my friend told me something that hopefully might increase performance on my games during streams. Something I was not aware of. Because um, I only use my Elgato to capture console games. But according to my friend, using the Elgato on your PC can also actually lessen the load. Uh, that your PC has to do, or at least that OBS has to do with capturing footage or something. Uh, no, he does not. I don't think he streams. He does capture footage sometimes, though, make like some videos or something. But yeah, he recommended me to try and use the Elgato to actually also stream gameplay off my PC. Which I never thought about doing because I thought my PC is the same system that runs the game, so it's gonna be like getting resource heavy on my PC regardless. But if it's true that the Elgato itself takes away some load by doing it like that instead of letting OBS just capture a game directly, then that could potentially actually help with performance. So that's what I'm going to test tomorrow during World of Tanks. And I really hope that'll work. Oh shit, fuck boy time. dash more.
So far, I don't really need to use this attack much. Like, I don't see much use of it because it's just range attack. Like, I guess if I really need to, like, damage something on long range, but, like... I know, I just feel like the other options would be better. Gorgon Flash. That sounds good, though. Also, now that I've tried VR, I really want a headset, but they're fucking expensive. So, yeah. It's kind of a problem. I'd love to stream Beat Saber, actually. That would be fucking dope, but... Did it matter which statue I put where? Both the same height, something just. Oh no! Get back up. Go here. Hey, Moosey. Nice to see you. How you doing? And Blind Archer as well. Long time no see. Thought you'd never see this. Me getting my ass kicked. Yeah, it's happening. I'm getting my ass kicked very hard, very deep. <laughs> Everyone can point and laugh as I fail at this game. Collect my Gorgon eyes. So there's four difficulties. There's uh 
Easy, normal, hard, and very hard. And normal, hard, or normal, very hard is also named God Mode. Which I really like the name of that because God Mode normally is like the name of like a cheat. But in this game, it's like literally the hardest setting. It's like really awesome. <laughs> Well, I've been dying a lot. Ah! Uh, uh, Kratos, I'm slipping. You must get here quickly. I can help you. We can save Athens, but you must hurry. Because I'm bad. As the title suggests, I'm bad at this game. God damn it! No! Trying to suck less. the darn rope, pleb. Parkour, let's go, parkour, parkour, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Help me, Kratos, please. Ugh. And with that act, Kratos, Kratos doesn't splash the events that would lead to his downfall. Kratos? As Athena herself has foretold. But you are late. Perhaps too Don't take late it to so seriously, Athens. please. Or is it Athens you have come to save? No! I, I can't! We must not stop! And when the Oracle no, looked into his soul, she saw a beast as well as a man. Once a captain in the Spartan army, Kratos had begun his command with only 50 soldiers. But soon his numbers grew to the thousands. I appreciate that His the game isn't being brutal, crude. But Most video games are way too crude. Power, he was feared by all they show gore and death. One. His wife but any the only sexual one stuff. Oh no, that's How much bad. Is enough, Kratos? Like, sex is when more normal than... When the glory of Sparta is known throughout the world, 
The glory of Sparta. You did this for yourself. His desire for conquest knew no bounds, but that which he desired would ultimately consume him. By the gods, why would Athena send one such as you? Stay out of my head! Choose your enemies wisely, Kratos. Your brute strength alone will not be enough to destroy Ares. And at least the game doesn't feel Only forced to show it. Like, it's not like constantly zooming in on our boobs, at least. Pandora's box, which lies far beyond the walls of Athens, hidden by the gods across the desert to the east. But be warned, Kratos. Many have gone in search of Pandora's box. None have returned. Yeah, they'll like put in boobs, you know, for the sake of it. Like, haha, look, you know. But here it like fits the theming and stuff, you know, like. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't feel forced, which is nice. I'm dreading one of my most difficult fights, though. It's a fight that, on my first playthrough, made me lower the difficulty from normal to easy, I believe. I'm not sure if I did second playthrough on normal, though. I think I did. But I remember originally playing on normal, and then there was a fight in this game that made me lower it to easy. And I'm really dreading how it's gonna be on very hard. Uh. Do I go here first or there first? Thought the music is good. Oh, this is a suicide cliff. But yeah, it is a normal thing. Sex is normal, right? Yet, for some reason, lots of video games are so crude where gore and violence is treated as a more normal thing and less censored thing. It is, it is actually a fact. In video games, generally speaking, sex is more censored than gore, even though sex is a more normal thing than gore. So, I don't know. And film as well. And that's what I find cringe about the industries. Like, wow. You're fine with decapitation, blood, and gore, but the moment anything sex is related, suddenly it's like, ah, close your eyes, prude. So I appreciate when a game like this is just not being prude about it. Yeah. I mean, you know, and I'm not trying to complain about violence, of course. Yeah, I think it's fine in video games and movies. I just hate the double standard where people are treating sexual themes as a worse thing than violence, even though it should, shouldn't because sex is like the most normal thing. It's how we, you know... I, I don't even need to explain it. Shiny blade. Oh, 
But yeah, um, which God of War games have you all played? I have played all of them twice, except the one on PS4. That one I've only played once. And I've not played Ragnarok. You've played one and two, Moosey. Nice. Played a little of three. Yeah, three is such a fucking epic game. I still think God of War 3 has one of the best endings ever. It is such an amazing game. All of them are, bro. Three, the ending of 3 really is, like, so epic to me. Three seemed good, like the originals, not interested in the newer ones. Uh, after three also came uh, Ascension, which is very much still in the style of the originals. So that one's also really good. That one's actually a prequel. And then there's the two spin-offs on PSP, which were ported as HD ports to PS3. Ghost of Sparta and Chains of Olympus, those are both also pretty good games. Am I going through the entire series? I mean, I will... After I beat this, I will do another challenge to go thing for the second game, probably, yeah. Because this was like the 100k goal challenge. And I like doing those kind of challenge thingies for like playing games on the hardest difficulty. <clears throat> Mobile 2D side scroller platformers number 3D graph. No, no, no. The spin offs are fully 3D games on PSP. Thank you for contributing to Metal Gear Rising. Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta are full 3D games like this. They play exactly the same, they just have a bit more simple control scheme, because it was made for PSP. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the handheld, the PSP games. Medal of Honor, I've already streamed Medal of Honor, the OG one. Yeah, I'm not planning to replay it. At the moment. I am still pl planning to play Underground though. To my knowledge there are no 2D style God of War games on handhelds, but I could be wrong. I only know about the two PSV games, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta, which are 3D games like this. from those archers. An actual mobile phone for the other war game, then I've never heard of that one before. Generally speaking, I don't think I've ever streamed a phone game before. Let's 
soon makes it longer. I didn't hear anyone else complain about the volume. I can lower it. Minus 28. I don't know. Let me know if it's too low or too high. God of War Beach Mobile Game. Yeah, that looks like more of a side scroller. Maybe that's the one Moosey was talking about. Never heard of it. And yeah, if it's a mobile game, I'm generally not interested unless the gameplay will really captivate me. Yeah, let me know if the audio is fine now. I will adjust accordingly. I see on Wikipedia it's on mobile, I believe. Mobile game. Yeah, okay, it's probably not a mobile game in the modern way. Probably more classic. But again, I'll, I'll have to look at the gameplay and see if I'll care, but uh, in general I don't, like... I know there's a difference between modern mobile games and older mobile games. You know, before the whole Play Store stuff and overly monetized free-to-play garbage. But even those older mobile games I generally haven't really cared about stream, but who knows, maybe maybe it'll be the exception off to look up gameplay. Oh, why did I not heal by the way? Oh, I'm a dumbass, I was not paying attention and I grabbed the magic and not the health. Fuck, I'm an idiot. Oh well, I'll live through it. There's another chest, so... Oh, 
at a fucking camping club. I will say, the camera is a bit shitty sometimes in this game. Fuck. Try to jump down. Okay. I feel like very often it's kind of zoomed in too much. Where I'd love to see more of the arena. Oh, I tried to jump again, but I was in the middle of an animation. Looked a bit annoyingly choppy. Ooh, yeah. I hate choppy gameplay for sure. That's like a big turn off for me. Just at the end of my combo, he does that. Fucking annoying. Didn't look inconsistent. Nah, it doesn't matter for me if it's inconsistent or consistent. I just fucking hate choppy gameplay. But who knows? If it looks good enough, I can make an exception, of course. Fucking look at the gameplay. Just judge it by that. Oh, fucking camping shitlords in the back. Yeah, consistently choppy is better than inconsistent, but I still really dislike choppy gameplay, generally speaking. Oh, come on, the double tap, really? Fuck. Uh. Uh. <laughs> nice! Oh my god, that was great timing. Did you see that? <laughs> Fucking epic. I love that. Ah, you fucking archer, you piece of shit. I hate that I'm getting sniped there. That's fucking bullshit. Ah, oh, fuck, that's bullshit.
Oh, I'm gonna just stagger him here with this. Those, those fucks deal dealt with. <laughs> wow, those clubs have been dealt with. It feels so good though when I win. And I've definitely already become a lot better playing it on this difficulty compared to my play previous playthroughs. of XP to go. Oh, big boy. Two big boys. Oh, you bitch! Holy oh, dick. Oh. I love this attack. See, the camera here is kind of shitty. It's like a good example of where I'm really disliking the camera, it's like just annoying. Another fucking camping shit up there.
I love that execution. If you're making me eat the fucking sword blade, whatever you wanna call it. Oh fuck! We both hit each other there. I was being greedy because I saw it, but I was like, oh, maybe I can like be faster. Yeah, I thought that would maybe hap happen. Whoa, boy. Deck. Oh, fuck this. I'm still not down. I'm so afraid of dying here. Oh my god, there's another one coming. I'm gonna have to keep killing them here for health. This is such a fucking awesome attack. Stuns them so hard. Oh, you dick, that was bullshit, though. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God, I can't believe I'm still alive. So fucking close. I just don't want to fuck with that archer. I hate that is one thing I do hate is having to fight while I'm getting like sniped by bullshit. I keep forgetting I have this dash move as well. Don't use it enough. Good for keeping combos going. Yeah, I'm the.
Oh my god, another fucking pleb. The two plebs spawn in again. Get rewarded with a nice musical cue that you've beaten the area. Love that. Nice victory anthem. And now peace and quiet. I'll earn back. Or maybe gone for the magic actually, I saw it a decent bit of health. You will. What's this? up pieces I love how interconnected the maps are as well in this game by the way like there's actually a decent bit of areas where you revisit that you revisit like this place for example we've been here a lot earlier and now like certain portions here are damaged and stuff like you know Showing out time has passed. Really good design. So ironic that Zeus is the one that lets us save. Alright, that's that for today. I'll uh, be on again tomorrow. Playing tanks and WRC. We'll be back with God of War on Monday. But during the weekend, I'll be playing uh, yeah, WRC, Blade of Agony, F1, stuff like that. And then on Monday, we'll continue with God of War. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I appreciate so many people coming over today. I'm glad that a lot of people are enjoying the game and are into it. Um. It's the second time I'm streaming this game as well. And the first time I streamed it, there weren't nearly as many people watching and interacting in chat, talking about the game. So, you know, I really appreciated that there's, you know, some people who love this franchise just as much as I do. And, uh, yeah. So far, I'm feeling pretty happy with my progress. I'm actually able to go through it and uh, improve and uh, I've learned more of the techniques, the moves and stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to get more progress. But uh, yeah, that's about it. I wish everyone a good start of the weekend tomorrow. And uh, yeah, have a good one. Take care. Thanks for being here.